my name is Kelly Ann and I am the presenter for today's user group which will cover cleaning up duplicates in the membership module. Uh, today we are strictly going to look at the membership module. Uh, we are not going to discuss donations or envelope numbers or giver numbers. Uh, we are only going to look at cleaning up membership records. Um, so oftentimes you may find you have duplicates within your membership records. For today's user group, let's go ahead and bring up some labels. I'm going to go ahead and click Next here and choose my Every Standard. Ask for one label per family and click Print. And then let's go ahead and scroll to the second page. I want to get my highlighter and point out uh, if we take a look, we see we have one label for Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson. If we look over to the left, we see an individual label for Jake Johnson, which is odd because we asked for one per family. But if we look below that, we see another label for Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson at a different address. And if I look a little farther down, we see another label for Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson without a complete address. So let's go ahead and close our labels. And let's go ahead and go into Members. Uh, one way, actually I'm going to close this real quick, one way to uh, see if someone is already in the database before you enter them a second or third possible time uh, is in the lower right, we can go ahead and click the button I've highlighted that says Contact List. So let's go ahead and click on that, get my pointer tool back. If I click on contact list, this brings up a list of everyone in the database and members and visitors. Uh, notice the third line or fourth line here, we see Al Anon Tuesday evening with a V in brackets. The V in brackets indicates this record is in our visitor side of the database. Now if I close this, and this is everyone except for terminated members or visitors, uh, neat thing if I open members and click on contact list. I'm going to scroll to my J's and look for the Johnson family. Now here we see Jake Johnson listed once and assuming his wife Sawney listed. There's no V in brackets uh, but notice when I clicked on Jake's name because I'm in the member file and because upper left of my contact list I've checked a link to member file if I click on a member's name within the contact list, notice behind the contact list it is going directly to that member's record. So again, if I click on Jake Johnson, it takes me right to that record. Same for Sonny. We see below here Jake Johnson with a V in brackets after the name. Now if I click on that, it does not go to that record because I am in the member side of my database. Now if I close the contact list and go up to membership visitors. Now if I bring up that contact list and I click on Jake Johnson with a V in brackets after his name goes right to that record. Now I know that the Johnsons are members so I'm going to go ahead and close the contact list and take a look at this record. I see there's an address both the family members are listed, but if I look over on the right, there's not really anything filled in on Jake Johnson's record. If I click on Sonny on the left and look to the right, again, not anything filled out on this record. I also, though, I don't want to just look at that individual record. Um, I'm going to click on Jake again, and across the top, I'm going to click on the Group's Classes button, and here I can see he was in some groups classes. So what I can do is up at the top right, just above his first name, I'm going to click print a report for this individual. And then on the report screen, I'm going to choose all information, the basic all information format, and then I'm going to click print. And this will provide me with all of the information on his record. Uh, because I can, I can tell because I know he's a member and we're going to go look at that membership record to make sure it's complete. 
uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a duplicate record that I want to eliminate or delete. So I'm going to print out everything off the record I might need to add to the record I'm keeping. So I also can click on the skills interest across the top, comments, alternate address, picture, make sure there's no information there. Um, now that would have printed on the report I just showed you, uh, but might want to click across those and look. I can do the same for Sony. And we see there's really nothing indicated or recorded on Sony's record. Another thing I, I should do is click on membership at the top, attendance, and then attendance record. And on here I can click on report and print out a report of any attendance I've recorded on this duplicate record. Now at the bottom of the attendance record I can scroll through the years and see if there is any attendance recorded for prior years, which there is not. And then I would repeat the same thing for Sony as well. Oops, go to attendance and attendance record. And nothing has been recorded for Sony. So now that I've printed everything off of this record that I might need, I am going to go back over into membership members. Now I can just click find rather than using the contact list. And there I see Jake in the, the drop down list. I typed, uh, just started typing his name, last name. And now if I go to the member records for Jake and Sonny, these are quite complete. I have information recorded for each one of these. So I'm going to go back to membership visitors. And I can go ahead here and click find. Find the Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson visitor record that I've printed all of my information off of that I want to record on the record I'm keeping. Uh, and now in the upper left, I'm just going to go ahead and click delete little window comes up and if this were the only record for the Johnson family and maybe they just moved away uh, this indicates that instead of deleting I might want to give them a reason for termination and that would hold all the information in the records but hide the record from showing up on your list labels or reports unless I ask for terminated people however this is a duplicate so I do want to delete this household and the duplicate individuals so I'm going to put a check here to confirm this deletion. And then I'll click OK. Now what I accidentally did there was I deleted the individual. The reason that occurred was because the individual side was highlighted or active. Notice if I click delete right now with the individual side active, it says delete individual. And I was a bad tech and did not pay close attention to that. Uh, so you really want to read the messages, make sure you're doing the right thing. To delete the family and everyone in it, I could delete them one at a time, but if you have a large family, uh, if I click on the family side or the left side, and now I click delete, notice it says delete family. So I can check to del confirm the deletion then click OK. And now the Jake Johnson visitor record is gone. If I go ahead and do a find for that, notice the first John it finds is uh, John Smith. And then it moves on to Jane Johnson, John Jones. So Sonny and Jake as vid visitors are now removed from my database. So we should be good on our labels now, right? Let's go take a look. Ask for one per family and click print. And scroll to my second page. Let me get my highlighter and let's take a look here. I see, well, I still have an individual label for Jake Johnson. We'll have to look into that. And a label for Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson at their correct address on Timber Lake Lane. But if I look down on this last column, I still have another record for Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson. So let me go ahead. I only saw one duplicate in the visitor side, so let me go ahead and uncheck visitors and click next and then print. 
uh, by just checking members now I can see if this is a record in my member or visitor side so if I look here I see Jake Johnson Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson if I look through one thing I can do is use in the upper left my little binoculars and type in Johnson or I could type Jake and there it is found Jake Johnson Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson and I still have a Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson with no address but I know this is in my member records because we unchecked visitors so let's close out of here Oops. Let me reopen membership close the wrong window there all right let's go into members and first let's take a look at the Jake Johnson record we know we want to keep uh, we're getting a, an individual label for Jake so if we click on Jake's name and then click over on his individual record notice up along the top I see instead of a mailbox for alternate address I see an envelope and a little person what that tells me is there is an alternate address on Jake Johnson's individual record now I can put an alternate address on the household and I can see that by clicking the household side and then clicking the alternate address button but notice there is no alternate address on my household to see an individual alternate address I would click on the individual on the left then click anywhere on the individual record and now I can click that alternate address icon and aha we see Jake Johnson has an alternate address in effect from June 1st through September 1st so that is why we have a second label going out to Jake Johnson as, a, as an individual this is not a duplicate uh, Mr. Johnson has obviously asked us to send his mail to this alternate post office box uh, from June through September 1st so that's why we're getting that second label but why are we getting a second label for the family let me go ahead change my screens back to the original screens and let's try looking up whoops we hit find again let's look up Johnson again notice I only have one Jake Johnson in my list now I am looking on the individual side so what could be occurring is I might have an empty house with no people in it if there's no people in a house then searching for individuals will not find that empty house so what I can do is click find and then directly below the find in the mailing label field I'm gonna type an asterisk and then the last name that's showing on that label and then another asterisk and what these asterisks mean is anything before the word Johnson and anything bef after the word Johnson and I'll hit go and we now see on a grid if there was only one search result it would take me right to that household uh, but when there's more than one result it brings up a grid and on the first line if we highlight that and click go to we see that takes us to the complete record with both family members and information on those records let's go ahead if we click back up on our grid at the top just to the right of the next button that brings our grid results back up I can click on the second line of Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson and click go to and indeed it takes us to a household with no individuals so because there are no individuals there's no need to click across the different buttons or look at an attendance record we can't record attendance or groups or classes or any of these items for a household those are all recorded for individuals so I don't need an empty house with no people in it no information so I'm just going to go ahead upper left and click delete to remove this empty household I'll check here to confirm that deletion and say OK and now we only see James Kildare our next household so let's go ahead and close out of here and let's try one more time to run these labels If we've rid the database of all those duplicate households and individuals then when we run our labels now we should only have a label for the household 
and because Jake Johnson has an individual alternate address, the uh, second label addressed to him is an individual. So let's go ahead and scroll to our second page. Let me get my highlighter. Here if we look, we see Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson and that second label going to Jake Johnson at his individual alternate address. If I look through below, I don't see any others. Another way to find out if I have more Johnsons is to click that little binocular icon in the upper left and then type out Johnson. Now I can click Find Next. Let me remove my highlighting here. So if I hit Find Next, first it finds the individual label for Jake. Oh, then it finds Jane Johnson, completely separate household. The next it finds is the household label going to Mr. and Mrs. Jake Johnson. And it's finished. So I've rid myself of that extra visitor record with an individual record for Jake and Sonny. I printed off reports from that record so I can add that information to the membership record I'm finding. And we also found we had that empty household in the membership records that was creating a label and we've eliminated, eliminated that as well. So we are now down to the true membership record for the Jake Johnson family and I can take those printouts and go add any of that information uh, to that record that may have been input on the record for uh, the incomplete visitor record for the household over in visitors. So that in a nutshell is how we can clean up our membership records. Uh, the important thing to remember is once you find your duplicates make sure you look at that record you're going to delete, print out any information from that record that you want to add to the one you're keeping and delete that extra record. I hope you learned some new things today. Thanks for attending today's user group on cleaning up your membership records and have a great day. Bye.